Ever since the release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, a lot of fans around the world, including myself, have been very excited about the future of the Star Wars franchise, especially on Disney+, Plus, and exactly what they're really going to do for the future of Star Wars in general. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about Episode 9 is that we do know that this movie was quite a divisive film, not quite as bad as The Last Jedi, in fact, nowhere as near as bad as The Last Jedi, but a lot of fans, so to speak, loved and hated the movie. I, for one, both loved it and hated it because there's a lot of scenes in here that I love, there's a lot of scenes that I really hate, and I've gone over this before in my spoilers review and my initial reaction of the film. Now, looking at the future of Star Wars by Disney in, of course, Lucasfilm, and what they're really trying to craft is their new Star Wars universe. I don't know if you guys have been filled in on this, but they are now developing a brand new SWU, if you will, that's going to be modeled after the MCU. And what that really means is that all the books, the novels, the comics, the video games, the TV shows, the movies, they're all going to interconnect with each other like a puzzle and are really going to tease the next project once a new one comes out. Very similar to what the Marvel movies did with the end credits sequences, right? So, what the, what's really exciting about that, in, to a certain level, is that yes, everything will be connected, and yes, it will give the fans an idea of what's to come in the future once they watch a specific project, but I am just hoping that they don't marvelize the movies, and what I mean by that is acting-wise, the way the characters act in the actual movie, the way everything is executed, I'm hoping it's not too marvelized th to that extent. But as far as the strategy goes, I really don't mind this too much of how all the Star Wars films and the TV shows and the books and the novels are all going to interconnect with each other, I kind of like that in a way. But I could see where a lot of people have issues with this. Now, with that being said, it's said that both Disney and Lucasfilm are currently developing their brand new Star Wars universe that is all set and ready to bring fans into a brand new era of the franchise, while also rewriting elements of the past. They have a plan in place to also bring back a majority of the old expanded universe, and will tweak the stories by telling them in a slightly different form. Now, Lucasfilm is said to want to stay close to their technique, and that they are also planning to expand their TV shows and movies to be a part of this new universe. Additionally, one of the big plans that Disney and Lucasfilm have is to bring back creator George Lucas for an untitled project for Disney Plus to direct one or two episodes. Both Disney and Lucasfilm are currently in the planning stages of bringing Lucasfilm back for a couple of episodes by George Lucas of an untitled TV series coming to Disney Plus in the near future, and they have talked with George Lucas about this. It's unclear if this has to do with the animated or live-action TV series to come in the future. However, George is said to be in the talks of coming back as a director for some episodes, and not just that, will act as an advisor and will have the power of approving specific ideas, creative decisions related to the fourth Star Wars trilogy of films that will release throughout this decade. Now, this is Disney's plan in order to make things right with the fans and to also make Star Wars as authentic as possible to its core audience of fans. Now, Disney Plus will serve as a library's worth of Star Wars related content for the fans and that they are currently developing over 10 years worth of Star Wars material that will be in both live action and animated form for Disney Plus. So, the thing about this new plan by Disney and Lucasfilm to do whatever they can in order to gain the trust of fans, you can really see that they are very desperate at this point. And a lot of this is rooted with the box office results of Solo A Star Wars Story because of The Last Jedi's performance and how it got a lot of backlash and not just that, also, with The Rise of Skywalker's box office results, it's not doing quite as well as The Last Jedi's so far. Uh, hopefully, it will do better than The Last Jedi in the long run, but so far, it's, it's trying to catch up, but it's just behind The Last Jedi, so... You know, we've seen a lot of this in franchises where the third film doesn't do as good as the last two, so it could just be something as simple as that. But I want to go ahead and say that this most likely has to do with a lot of fans that are just upset with the Star Wars franchise. That's most likely what it really is. Now, is this movie a failure? Not necessarily per se at the box office. I mean, it did well and made money, but it really needed to make a lot more and now we're in the final weeks of this movie before it's going to head out to theaters like out of theaters you know usually in the first couple of weeks like the first two weeks of february is when it's really kind of just phasing out these star wars movies out of theaters and 
Unless Disney and Lucasfilm, they want to bring it back into theaters sometime in March, something crazy like that. I'm not quite sure how well over a billion this movie is really going to make. Do I think it's going to make 1.3 billion? Like how I believe, I think The Last Jedi made, made that, if I'm not mistaken. You know, worldwide speaking, I believe it did. So is it going to beat that? I don't think so. I really don't think so at this point. Um, I was thinking that maybe it had a chance, but we'll have to wait and see. So, everything related to this, guys, like I say, how they're trying to bring George back on for Disney Plus for a future live-action TV series. It's unclear if this is the untitled Star Wars Rebels sequel trilogy, or should I say sequel series, my bad, um, or if this has to do with a brand new Star Wars, you know, uh, live action TV series. You know, we're not quite sure if it's animated or live action that George is going to be directing one or two episodes for this. Similar to what they did with The Mandalorian, where you have a couple of episodes for this director and that director and this director, you're gonna have the same exact thing with George for a future TV show. I have a feeling that this may have something to do with the Mace Windu TV series that's been in the talks for a while now, or even the Cassian Andor TV series. That's another big possibility. So anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.